Hey there, it's Kevin from Product Design Online, and today I want to show you how to model and design your own pair of headphones in Fusion 360. Now this video is based off an older video that Kaching has done for the Fusion 360 YouTube channel. But that video is from 2013 and it's quite outdated and there's been a ton of changes to Fusion Sense, so I figured I'd go ahead and make a newer version. So to get started, we're gonna create a box in the sculpting mode. Now you'll see once you create a form here that the little panel pops up on the side for the box dimensions and everything else there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in three and a half inches by three and a half inches. And you can also see that we can change the number of faces there but I'm gonna show you guys a different way to do this later on. Now, to start off, I'm gonna model the earmuff of the headphone because when you look at headphones, like a lot of objects, it's symmetrical. So what we're gonna do is create one side and then we're gonna go ahead and mirror it and then connect the two. Now, the last thing we wanna select here in our box is we wanna make sure that we select mirror. That's just gonna help us out when we create our earmuff. So now we want to look at the front view and then we're going to go ahead and double click on the center line to highlight all the way around. And then we're going to right click and hit edit form. Now the edit form feature is what we're going to use a ton in this video and you're always going to use it a lot in the sculpting mode. So once we edit the form here, you'll see that we have some different icons. Now all of these icons will push or pull or kind of morph the shape in a different way. So we're going to use the one in the upper right hand corner, the little curved arc there. And while we drag that, we're going to go ahead and hold down the option or alt key. Now what that's going to do is going to make sure that the entire shape kind of stays uniform. So if you watch as I drag this out, it's going to start to, to be curved on each side. Now we kind of have a circle shape here. Now you can go back and forth and kind of re-edit these until you get that perfect shape that you're looking for. So now I'm gonna view this earmuff from the backside and I'm gonna go ahead and start to create some more faces here. First thing I need to do is select the four faces and then edit form. And now we're gonna go ahead and hold the option key down while we drag the center icon there. So it's the little dot and when you hover over it, it should have three triangles next to it. Now what that icon does is it creates more faces for us. I'm gonna drag that center arrow outward while also holding down Option or Alt there. And you'll see the bulge will start to come out. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and do this one more time and kind of play around with this shape until I like it. And I'm gonna create an inward bulge just to kind of give it some character and, and create my own headphones here. As you follow along this tutorial, feel free, and I actually encourage you to kind of create your own shape and really play around with the shapes here and create your own style. So now that we have the outside of the earmuff pretty much done, we want to go ahead and create the inside, so the part that's actually going to go over the ear. So if we flip around to the other side, I'm going to once again select all four of these main faces here, and then I'm going to edit form and hold down the option key, and I'm going to drag my mouse until the faces go inward. And now once again, I'm gonna grab that arrow there and this time I'm gonna create a bulge in and I'm just gonna play around with it until it looks like a shape that I want. Now I wanna create a little bulge to kind of separate the soft earmuff part to the hard plastic. So what I'm gonna do is hold down shift and double click on that center line there and you'll see that it highlighted it all the way around. Now I wanna right click and then I'm going to hit insert edge. So you'll see now there's a whole nother line there and I'm going to drag that just a little bit in front of the other line. Now, if I click on one panel there and then I hold down shift and double click on the second, what that will do is highlight the whole entire circle there. Then I can go to edit form. And once again, I'm just going to kind of manipulate this and I'm going to drag out that middle icon there until I get a shape that's kind of bulged out. Now the last thing that we need to do on the earmuff before we go ahead and copy it is we need to create the beginning of the headband. So what I'm going to do is select the top two faces here 
And then I'm going to create, I'm going to edit form, and then I'm going to create a couple more faces smaller. And then I'm going to go ahead and stretch that upward. Now you'll see here the first time that I stretched this upward, it seemed a little bit too thick and I didn't really like where it was going. So I went ahead and undid that and kind of brought the face in a little bit more and then restretched it up. Now that we have our one ear muff done, we need to go ahead and copy this to create the second one. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the whole entire object by selecting over it with the mouse. And then we're going to right click and we're going to go to move slash copy. Now I'm just going to drag this over a few inches or you can also type in the distance here. And the reason we're doing this is because when we first created this object, it was at our center origin. So we want to move it over. So when we mirror the object, they're separated. So now with my object highlighted, I want to go to symmetry and then you'll see on, under the list there, there's going to be an option to mirror slash duplicate. So if I go ahead and select that, you'll see that it brings up a dialog box. Now the next thing we need to do is click on that icon for the mirror plane and then choose the mirror plane here. Now, just looking at this real quick, I can already tell that the headphones seem to be way too close together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo that and I'm going to go ahead and move the first earmuff over a little bit more. And then I'm going to go ahead and recopy that over. So now that I have the earmuffs kind of in a position that looks good, what we need to do next is go ahead and create a three point arc that our band is going to follow. And I'm just going to draw it on this front plane here. I'm just going to kind of guess here about the position that I'd like the headband to be because we can change this later on. So once you have the arc done, you want to hit stop sketch. So whenever you select the bridge function here, it's going to first ask you to select side one. So what we want to do is select all of the faces on side one that we want to bridge. So I'm just going to select these top two faces here. And then I'm going to select the other side. And then we're going to select the curve under the follow curve function there. Now you'll see that we can't really see anything yet. And if I check preview, it'll kind of give me a good preview of what's going to happen. So sometimes this happens, the curve will kind of follow opposite. So you can either drag it around or you can just hit flip curve there. And if I hit OK, just like that, you'll see that now we kind of have a basic pair of headphones here. Now, the cool thing is this is where you can really get stylized and kind of play around with the shape and, and create your own unique set of headphones. So I'm just going to kind of start manipulating the headband here with a lot of the same kind of features that I've shown you already. So I'm just going to kind of select different faces and drag and kind of push and pull them in different ways. So after I kind of get the shape to a position that I kind of like it, what I like to do is kind of drag and drop some quick colors and or materials on it. It's just going to give you a little bit better of an idea of what it's going to look like. And it may give you some ideas of what you can go back and kind of change or, or rework. So what I'm going to do is hold down shift and select all of these soft parts of the earmuffs here. And then I'm going to right click and go to appearance. And then I'm just going to kind of find some sort of cloth that I think would look good. So I kind of like this weathered leather look here. I'm going to drag that over. Now it looks way too big. The texture does. So I'm going to double click on that and kind of scale it down and tweak these until it looks a little bit better. Now for the headband, I want to do some sort of polished or kind of shiny plastic. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just play around with some different colors here and see what I like. And just like that, in about 10 minutes, we have a cool kind of unique set of headphones here and a great way to kind of experiment with Fusion 360's modeling form. If you learned something in this video, be sure to subscribe